Opening my first long travel album pictures brought me back to an amazing and fine year memories and how my perspective in life changes. This event happened 8 years ago last 2013, a not so typical summer adventure experience with my grandma and a couple relative. Mostly I just stayed in our hometown but for the first time I've got a chance to travel to a new place outside my comfort zone. And this travel journey will answer the question of how my first long trip changes my perspective in life. Our first destination is Iloilo City where we were attending a wedding. Iloilo is a province of the Philippines located in the center of the Philippine archipelago and it is nicknamed the Heart of the Philippines. People from Iloilo are called Ilongos. They are known for the charm and sweetness that comes from the musical tonation of their dialect, Hiligaynon. You will not be able to tell if an Ilongo is a mad at you by the way they speak, which always sounds like someone crooning a love song to you. So upon arrival, the bride-to-be greeted us, including the groom's relative, in Hiligaynon dialect. The sweetness of her dialect made me imagine to have a special someone like Ilongos. It was indeed a very amazing wedding and then we headed to our second destination via airplane. It was my first time to take a flight headed to Cebu with my grandma and a couple relative. I remember how I was so fascinated by the view looking through the window plane. Cebu City is a country as old as city. It was the first Spanish settlement and the first capital of the Philippines. The people are called Cebuanos or Cebuanos. They are known to be the religious because Cebu opened the gate to Christianity during the Spanish regime. That's why the very first thing we did is to visit the Magellan's Cross. You will notice that there is history imprinted at the top of the cross on the ceiling. So a few steps away is the Basilica del Santo Niño, or Church of the Holy Child. Santo Niño is their patron saint and they celebrated Sinolog Festival every year. Then we headed next to our destination which is the Simala Shrine, located two hours drive from Cebu City. The Monastery of the Holy Eucharist, popularly known as the Simala Church or Shrine, is used to be known as an ordinary church not until a miraculous event occurred. I was so amazed by the structure of the altar and the confession and testimony of the miracles inside the Simala. No wonder the place offers miracles and people are so devoted to their prayer and thanksgiving. And of course, we offered prayers and thanksgiving too. Looking back, I realize I am now an answered prayer. Then next, we proceed to our next destination. Another first time for me is to sail on a super ferry boat. It took 3 hours to arrive at Bohol. Bohol is an island province of the Philippines located in the Central Visayas region. There are a lot of fascinating tourist spots here that's why we hired a van to tour around Bohol. One of the tourist spots we went is the exotic animal conservation where for the first time I saw a big snake, black raven, and some exotic animals. And to complete the exotic experience, we take an ice cream flavored malunggay and chili. We also visited the Tarshir Conservation Area and take a selfie with the Tarshir. Tarshir is the smallest living primate that exists in several Southeast Asian countries today. And you can find it here in Bohol, Philippines where they effortlessly conserve and protect their habitat. Then we take a lunch in a floating restaurant at Lubok River. It's a eat all you can buffet while floating in a floating restaurant. Bohol is the home of the famous Chocolate Hills, so we would not miss the chance to visit the Chocolate Hills. I was so mesmerized by the view though it wasn't as clear as a crystal clear since it was cloudy at that time but the experience was worth it. We also visited the oldest stone churches in the Philippines, Baclayon Church, formerly known as Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. The caretaker of this place shared some miraculous art discovery where you can see something from the wall, a figure form of a man who they claimed as Father Pio. On the next wall, you can also see the figure like of the Virgin Mary above the doorway. Then we next proceed to the important historical events in the Philippine history, the Blood Compact. Then afterwards, we proceed to my grandmother's relative where we stayed for a night. Then like everything, our trip soon to end. We went back to Cebu Airport to fly back to Sambuanga City, then to my hometown. Closing the album made me realize how this long trip changes my perspective in life. I had so many first experiences of my life in my first long trip travel that changes my perspective in life. 
My first time experience made me realize how wonderful it is to feel the wonderful experience that I had experienced. The first pleasure, enthusiasm within me explodes and even wanting to explore more and new experience in this world. And with that, I even shared my video blog travel adventure to everyone using my YouTube account, Charisma Me. Because as they say, YOLO, you only live once. But through traveling, it seems like we live more than in the lives of the people and the places that we experience. So I say, live life to the fullest. See more great things of what the world offers us. But for now, I will travel the Philippines, my country, my pride. I will end this with my first long trip experience album reflection. Slow down and enjoy life. It's not only the scenery you miss by going too fast, you also miss the sense of where you are going and why.